on guys, this is Kevin with Scar Audio. We're here at Scar Audio headquarters today. A uh, video that seems to be in very high demand is uh, Amp Dyno of the SK2500. This is one of our more popular mid-range high power amplifiers, part of the SK series. So what we're going to do today is in fact put it on the dyno, which we have right here. Everything's hooked up as you can see on our test bench, ready to go. Um, we have the 2500 here. It's running on four Shuriken 16 volt batteries, which are at rest. They're not on a charger or anything. So everything's hooked up and ready to go. We're setting about 16 and a half volts, but um, before we get started here, what we need to do is go over to our amp dyno, the AD1, and we need to dial in the amplifier and make sure that it's tuned right for this test. So we're going to go to the DD1, which is built in. We're going to select it. So it says go to track 12 or 13. I have all of these on my iPhone, so that's what we're going to be using for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and track, select track 12 on my iPhone. We're going to click next here. So it says adjust the head unit to max before distortion. So we're going to go ahead and turn the head unit up now. Now we can, we're getting some signal from the 81 it seems. Now we're getting the 40 hertz. You guys can see here these lights are turning on. So now we're looking for this light right here to turn red. That's That means we're hitting distortion. When it goes solid, we're going to go one notch below that. So it looks like we're at 56 uh, out of 62 on this Pioneer head unit. So we're going to go down one and we're going to, we're going to leave it at 55 because that's where we're not distorting. So now that that's set, we're going to go ahead and click next. And it wants us to adjust our amplifier gain now up to distortion. So again, you're going to want to be looking, we're going to go over to the amp, we're going to turn the gain up. But um, what you want to be looking at is the distortion right here, this light when it turns red. That's where we're going to leave our gain on the amp. So we're going to go and turn it up now. Looks like we're getting there. We're going to wait for it to go solid right there. So you can see it's solid. We're going to go down just a little bit. It's where they're not solid. I'm going to pull the screwdriver out. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and set the overlap of the amplifier. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, start testing. So click next here. We've got track 14 selected. And start it. All right, so you can see it's detecting the 40 hertz signal. What we're going to go ahead and do now is set our overlap by adjusting the gain up. And right now we're at one decibel. The 81 recommends five, at least five, so we're going to do six. Two, three, there you go, four, five. Okay, so we're going to slightly a little more. Six, perfect. So now that we're at that, that decibel overlap that we want, we're going to click done. Mute the signal, and now we're going to go ahead and be on our testing. These are the tests we're going to run today. Certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Select our one ohm load. Start dyno. Track four. And it's going to go ahead and start. And there it goes. And so this, this test is basically uh, max power up to the point of distortion. This is, again, clean certified power out of the 2500. We, we capped out at 2,793 watts at 14.35 volts. So uh, clearly these are doing more than rated power as they're 2500 at 14.4. We're getting 2793 at 14.35. So uh, very impressive results. I'm going to go ahead and jot that down now. 2793 at 14.35 volts. So now let's go ahead and do the half ohm test. Start a track over, select half ohm. Start dyno. And here we go, it's gonna go ahead and run it again. SCAR 2500 at half ohm. As you can see the test is running. And there we go. Um, so it looks like it, it capped out at 3,393 watts at 13.61 volts. All right, so right now we're going to jump over. We're going to start with the uncertified dyno tests and see what those results yield. So select uncertified, mono. Go ahead and uh, select the impedance, which is, of course, 1 ohm. Enter. Now we're ready to begin the test, so we're going to jump over to my phone. We're going to unpause the track and begin. 
Star Dino. And here we go. As you can see, here we go, 20. All right, so it looks like we capped out a little bit higher than certified. Um, not a whole lot, but um, we are at 2,836 watts at that one ohm. And that was done at 14.3 volts. So, so far, uh, very impressive numbers around the board. Uh, now we're gonna jump over and do the dynamic tests. So we'll click back on the dyno. And we're gonna we're gonna select the dynamic test. Dynamic power run. We'll start with the one ohm test, and then we'll jump down and do the half ohm. So I'll select one, track one on my phone, and we're gonna go ahead and begin. Scar twenty five hundred at one ohm dynamic power run. And as you can see there, it's performing the tests. And now the test is over. It looks like we capped at 2,953 watts at 14.72 volts. So obviously, if you have this in your vehicle and you're running a 14.4 volt um, electrical, you have good electrical in your car, this amplifier is going to outperform its, its ratings. Um, it is a 2500. We rated 2500 at 14.4 basically. You're getting almost, as you guys just saw, 3000 watts on just a little bit higher than 14.4. Um, certified, you're definitely getting more. You're getting that 2793 at less than 14.4. So, um, you know, really impressive results. Now, just for fun, we're going to go ahead and run the half ohm test. We don't warranty this amplifier at half ohm. Um, it's very capable of running there. A lot of customers do run it. Just keep in mind it's not warrantied there. So we're going to select our half ohm impedance. We're going to start our track over. Start dyno. And here we go. Let's see what we get. Wow. Jumping to over 4,000 watts out of the 2,500. It looks like, uh, okay, we wrapped the test up. It's 4,289 watts. And we finished at 14.45 volts. So obviously these dynamic tests aren't as hard on the electrical as our certified run, being that they're burst power. Um, but as you guys can see there in our, in our final results across the board, this amplifier outperformed its ratings. And, uh, and we just wanted to bring this video to show you guys that, as a lot of you guys have been asking for it. For customers that aren't running it, they're available at scaraudio.com. Um, we hope you guys have a good holiday and a good Christmas for those who celebrate and, uh, and just a, a safe, happy new year. Again, this is Kevin with Scar Audio and thank you for watching.